Hi, I'm Marina Glancy. I'm a technical architect on the workplace team. So I'm going to present uh, the work of the whole team uh, that we have done. Uh, so first of all, I wanted to show what we are working with. This is uh, the how list of users looks in Moodle 4.3. Um, as you can see, the filters look like this. Um, and uh, basically lack of all other features that i'm going to show now and this is how we had it in workplace for the last five years where we had to um, re-implement it because we have a separate user management by different tenants but now uh we're kind of adding this interface back into the uh, lms and uh, well Again, every time we add something from workplace to the LMS, we will have to spend a lot of time trying to convert everything we already have in workplace to use the uh, core functionality now. Uh, so this is uh, um, Moodle 4.4, the master branch, uh, with the three additional issues that are currently uh, waiting for integration. Well, they're waiting for quite a long time, and it's like, uh, I think the integrators must be very busy. <laughs> um, so browser uh, list of users has already been, been converted to the report builder. So now what we are adding uh, are the user pictures, um, the bulk actions, and the download button. Uh, the bulk actions uh, are the same bulk actions we have on the uh, user bulk actions uh, screen that is uh, has very strange interface. Um, and here it is more uh, intuitive. You can filter users you want, you can select them and you can perform the actions. The workflow of the bulk actions is exactly the same as it was in uh, existing bulk actions. Um, additionally, uh, so there was already a callback to add, uh, allow plugins to add more bulk actions. So we converted it to the hooks and we added the ability to categorize them. And um, as a proof of concept, uh, I attached to, the, to one of the issues, the plugin that adds this to actions and they are actually much smoother than they do everything in the, um, with Ajax. So this is possible. However, we didn't convert the existing bulk actions to um, this Ajax actions because it requires like a lot of web services and actually significantly more work than it looks. But at least we will be able to add back all our workplace um, bulk actions to the LMS interface. 